Hello people, this is Sana Parveen here and welcome to Sana's Biochemistry. In this topic, in this lecture, we are going to talk about temperature. Before we talk about temperature, there is a small topic which I wanted to cover that is the SI fundamental units of a certain quantities which are mentioned here. Length we all know, what is the, going, what is the quantity going to be? Meter. Mass, kilograms. Times, second, electric current, ampere. Thermodynamic temperature is the SI unit is Kelvin here. Amount of substance, mole. Luminous intensity is candela. In this video, actually, we're going to talk about temperature. Whenever we talk about temperature, you need to first define. Many people are not aware what definition of the temperature is. Temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness of an object. How hot is an object or how cold is, it, is an object? When you measure that, you measure it with the help of a unit called, or with the help of a, a quantity called as temperature. There are three common scales to measure temperature, mainly degree Celsius first, then we've got degree Fahrenheit, then we've got Kelvin. But out of the three units which are there for the measurement of temperature, the SI unit is Kelvin. Okay, rest of the two. Uh, should not be considered as the SI unit. Okay, most of the students get confused in this. Uh, SI unit is going to be what? Kelvin uh, for the quantity called as temperature. Generally, thermometers with Celsius scale. Normally, the thermometer with Celsius scales are calibrated from what is the range of the thermometers that are calibrated for degree Celsius, that is 0 degree Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Some of the temperature may also have a temperature greater than 100, and 100 degrees Celsius approximately to 110 degrees Celsius. Up to that range the thermometers can be and uh, some degrees even lesser than 0 degrees Celsius like minus 4 degrees Celsius also we do see in some of the, temp uh, some of the thermometers where these two temperature is respectively the freezing point and boiling point of water. So the freezing point of water everyone knows is 0 degree Celsius and boiling point is 100 degree Celsius. At atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure has got the value as 1 atm pressure. They, these are represented on Fahrenheit scale. Okay, the, that is the third unit of measurement of temperature Fahrenheit scale as 320 Fahrenheit to to 120 Fahrenheit. The temperatures on two scales are related to each other with the following relationship. So you can uh, do one thing, you can convert, you know, some values given to you in degree Fahrenheit, you can convert it into degree Celsius, Kelvin can be converted into degree Celsius, Celsius can be converted into degree Celsius, uh, de degree Kelvin. Okay, so this is the relationship which is there, that is degree Fahrenheit is equal to 9 by 5 degrees Celsius plus 32. And Kelvin, how, how are you going to do the conversion? Kelvin, uh, when you are given with a value that is in degree Celsius, you need to convert it into Kelvin. Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273.15. We are going to see some of the uh, you know, calculations based on this. For example, I am given 0 degree Celsius and we need to convert this into Kelvin. How are you going to do that? 0 degree Celsius plus 273.15. Then you get the answer 273.15 Kelvin. So, 0 degree Celsius is 273.15 Kelvin. We move on to the next example. 10 degree Celsius. 10 degree Celsius, 10 plus 273. 0.15 is equal to 283.15 Kelvin. Okay, so this is the second example. Let us move on to more examples here. Boiling point of water. Boiling point of water. If someone is asking you in Kelvin what your answer should be, you will take, we all know in 100, we all know that 100 degree Celsius is the boiling point of water. 100 degree Celsius plus 273.15 is going to give us the answer as 2373. Uh, okay, just give me a minute. Yeah, perfect. 373.15 Kelvin is going to be the boiling point of water. In degree Celsius, everyone knows it is 100 degree Celsius. Okay, if we talk about, say, ethanol, everyone might be knowing the formula for ethanol. For those who don't know, it is CH3, CH2. OH, alcohol used for drinking purposes, also used in laboratory. 
ethanol boiling point is in degree celsius 78.37 degree celsius so we need to convert this into degree kelvin how are we going to do that 78.37 plus 273.15 gives us a value 351.52 kelvin okay so in kelvin what is the answer going to be for ethanol boiling point degree kelvin 351.52 because we need to add here uh 273.15 uh 15 this uh, this uh, this you need to add so as to get the conversion done let us move on ahead with this one okay then we have got say we need to convert kelvin to degree celsius initially we converted degree celsius to kelvin now we are going to convert kelvin to degree celsius okay i am given with a value called as 0 kelvin 0 kelvin you are going to minus 273.15 you get the value as minus 273.15 degree celsius so 0 kelvin is minus 273. 15 degree celsius this is also called as absolute zero people absolute zero okay now what is this absolute zero at this temperature that is i am going to write the value 0 kelvin minus 273.15 degree celsius and in fahrenheit if we see for absolute zero is this minus 460 degree fahrenheit so absolute zero at this temperature the values which i have mentioned here there is no heat no heat no motion see uh, when are the particles going to move when they have heat when they have got kinetic energy when there is no kinetic energy at all at zero kelvin minus 273 uh, minus 273.15 degree celsius the molecules definitely are not moving okay why because there is no kinetic energy at this temperature if there is no kinetic energy no motion is going to happen because there is no heat so no heat no kinetic energy no motion is going to take place at this absolute zero okay one more example 100 kelvin need to be converted into degree celsius 100 minus 273.15 gives us a value minus 173.15 uh kelvin okay so this is the value another thing as you're talking about temperature here okay the for measurement of temperature that is degree of hotness and coldness we need something called as uh, thermometers thermometers you might have come across various different types of thermometer one thermometer that we use in laboratory okay laboratory thermometer we use mercury in there sometimes we also have gallium thermometer okay so in gallium thermometer what do we have we have got a substance called as galliston in gallium thermometer because mercury is kind of toxic we use gallium in gallium thermometer we have got substance called as galliston what is this galliston made up of it is consisting of gallium indium and tin it is an alloy Galliston is an alloy consisting of gallium, indium, uh, and tin. It's also a brand name because mercury is kind of toxic. So we use gallium, and uh, so we have got gallium thermometers. We have got mercury thermometers. We have got alcohol thermometers. Okay, alcohol thermometers are also called spirit thermometers. We can make a whole uh, video on this. Okay, alcohol or spirit thermometer, and we have got one one more thermometer which the physicians nowadays use, or like not nowadays use. but the physician use which is called as clinical thermometer okay we do have these thermometers at homes as well clinical thermometer for measuring our body temperature which has got a short uh, range as compared to laboratory thermometer because our body temperature is not going to fluctuate by 100 uh, degrees or by you know decrease by 100 degrees so the range here is going to be kind of specific okay so all this was about temperature and these are the units of measurement and there's one question which you will go, you are going to tell me in the comment section if you want i can also send you the ppt on my telegram channel that is called sanas biochemistry you can uh, visit the telegram if you are on there 
uh, join my channel and can send you the PPT out there. We can also I I can also send you some questions related so that you can solve. SI unit of quantity electric current is. I am going to give you some options. You are going to comment down in the comment section. Volt, ampere, candela, newton. And let us see who answers first. Whoever answers first will. I'll take that person's name in my next video just to congratulate, just to you know motivate you people. Okay, so uh, answer this in the comment section. And then, uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video and we're done. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe. Share the content with your friends if, if you think it's kind of beneficial. And hit the like button so that you'll be notified for my upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Meet you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.